Bamboo House was a Chinese restaurant that was at 249 London Road, on the corner of Langdale Avenue, from 1960 to December 2021. From the Daily Mirror, the 8th of April 1965, via the British newspaper archive. The Chop Suey Revolution. In a thousand heated cellars all over Britain, bean shoots are being grown. About every five days, they are cut and cooked in Chinese restaurants to help feed the traditional fish and chips Englishman who has been contentedly swept into the chop suey revolution. These bean shoots threaten not only the traditional fish and chips. They can, added by today's frightening meat prices, strike a blow at the equally traditional steak and chips market. For years London has had its famous and expensive Chinese restaurants. Now, Eating Chinese, is sweeping not only London suburbia but the whole of the provinces, with restaurants which have the strange quality of being strictly classless. In them you will find the bank manager, the solicitor, the dock worker, hungry teenagers and busy housewives all trying this new value for money way of eating. There are nearly 2,000 Chinese restaurants in England today. There are 400 concentrated in the Midlands, 100 within a 40-mile radius of Manchester. Why this chop suey revolution? The immediate, but not the only, answer is that they are cheap, almost ridiculously cheap. Where? Outside the Chinese restaurant, can you get a delicious, satisfying, three-course meal, plus tea or coffee, for as little as four shillings and sixpence, with no service charge? Where? Except in a Chinese restaurant, can you get a huge plate full of exquisite food, served on an immaculate tablecloth, in pleasant surroundings, for three shillings? How can the Chinese provide meals so cheaply? One of the reasons is the entirely different approach of the Chinese towards eating. They rarely use any meat except pork and chicken. But these are so deliciously served with wonderfully flavored vegetables, bean shoots, spring onions, tomatoes, celery, bamboo shoots, spinach and white cabbage, that nobody misses the traditional steak. Then, of course, many restaurants save on labor costs, operating on a family basis. It is not unusual to find grandparents, sons-in-law and daughters-in-law and cousins, all working together with no regard for working hours, wages or days off. A wonderful example of this is in a modest Chinese restaurant in Mitcham, Surrey. Here, in the Bamboo House, 45-year-old Mr. Pui Cheng opens seven days a week with members of his family as his chief assistants. Mr. Cheng arrived in England 11 years ago by boat from Hong Kong with very little money in his pocket, and for six years he worked in restaurant kitchens and then as a waiter. Five years ago he risked his savings and got a mortgage to open his Chinese restaurant. Today he has paid off his mortgage and is saving hard to expand. He regularly serves more than 304 shillings and sixpence lunches between midday and 3 p.m. He employs an 18-year-old boy, Lai Fong solely to look after and grow fresh bean shoots from seed in huge wooden tubs in an immaculate transformed coal cellar. He told me, I often use 100 pounds of bean shoots on Saturday nights alone, and I can only keep pace with the demand by growing them on the premises. Most Chinese restaurants do the same, it's handier and cheaper than buying outside. The popularity and standard of food values can be judged by the fact that local housewives now collect Mr. Cheung's three-course four shillings and sixpence meals to take home for the family. Shi Yu King, the owner's strikingly good-looking wife, supervises the kitchen. His elder son Ching Kuang is her deputy, his daughter-in-law, Choi King, is a waitress, his 21-year-old son Yip Kuan is the deputy chef and his 19-year-old daughter Oi Ling, is a waitress. From their Facebook page on the 8th of December 2021, Dear customers, since 1960, Bamboo Restaurant has had the pleasure of serving you fresh and authentic Chinese cuisine. We regret to inform you that our last day of business will be Christmas Eve, Friday the 24th of December 2021. We apologize for the short notice. Due to the expiry of our lease, we will have to close earlier than intended. We would like to take this opportunity to thank you, our wonderful customers, for all of your loyalty and support over the last 20 years under our management. Kind regards, Peter, Paula, Linda, Nigel and everyone else at Bamboo Restaurant.